Right then, I'm going to make a, um, a vegan chilli for my vegan friend Ian and uh, I'm just going to video it just so he knows that I'm trying to do everything as vegan as possible. I'll send him this video before we actually eat the vegan uh, chilli and um, he can tell me whether I've done it right, so here we go. Okay, so um, this comes from Farm Foods and it actually says the word uh, vegan on the front of it. Now, not all corn products are vegan friendly um, so just be careful of that, it's only something I've learned very recently. Um, I'm using uh, two hottish chilies, some garlic, onion, um, a green pepper, we've got some kidney beans and I actually asked Ian if uh, kidney beans from a can um, are vegan friendly because I don't know what the actual, what this brine has got in it and he told me it was fine. Um, some chopped tomatoes and some red peppers in a, in a brine as well and that says it's got nothing other than uh, salt and sugar in there. So for the seasonings um, I've got some uh, paprika, black pepper, uh, chilli and garlic and sea salt and if I need to fry anything which I don't think I'm going to, uh, coconut oil, uh, pre-cooked baked potatoes and we're going to have some uh, corn on the cob as well just over the fire. I've actually put that on just to warm it up. Um, I added some water. Uh, I'm not sure that there's enough uh, liquid in there, so I'm tempted to maybe get a, um, a little carton of passata to add that to it. So I'm just going to let that do its business for about maybe five, ten minutes. Come back and assess it. So I might just have to pop out and get a little, a little uh, like passata just to add to that. Um, but that's it. So I'm actually going to add the uh, the mint as it's labelled, which it isn't. Um, just to it when it's cold um, because that doesn't actually need to be cooked it just needs to be warmed up so when we're cooking that over the campfire that'll do that perfectly um, and there is quite a lot um, but also uh, Lily is going to be taking some of this with her um, probably through the week as well so um, I like to cook in big batches but that's how it's going All right that is not looking too bad at all I'm keeping it like quite a low cut because really I just want the onions just to soften a little bit those beans aren't going to want a lot of cooking anyway and this mince does absorb water so um, yeah I'm going to leave that again for about five minutes I'm not going to add that passata and then I can start to add the uh, the flavours to it to hopefully build up um, a bit of heat but not blow your head off um, yeah it's going to look good happy with that <laughs> 